regulations were what was needed for corporal punishment, not it being abolished. We say now hitting a child infringes a child's human rights, but so does sending somebody to prison. Nobody would suggest that we abolish prison, but what is needed is regulations. In fact in corporal punishments, it is not regulations that were needed but a much more open policy. If punishment were not carried out in complete secrecy from other pupils and the boy's parents, then this would be a safeguard. It was only when corporal punishment was carried out behind closed doors and curtains drawn that abuse took place. This was added by the fear of the boy that if his parents found out he had been caned at school he may be punished again, so allowed teachers to say, I will not tell your parents this time. Parents should have been told.